Thank you for your introduction. And uh, I am uh, Akiko Sumi. And uh, um, my study is with the um, co-author Katsunori Sumi, uh, who is my husband, actually. But, um, but he, he, he couldn't come today. So I'm just a uh, you know, presenter as uh, our study. And uh, where is uh, like this? How do I put in this way? Just How? Just click. Just click. Yeah. click? Just ah. yeah. OK. Um, so um, actually, um, I came here uh, to give a paper uh, last year of this conference. So I'm very happy to you know, come back here and to meet the new people. So uh, we presented uh, last year in this conference a study examining how much an uh, intensive Arabic program titled the Arabic Intensive Camp in Rurike, which is in Kyoto in Japan, uh, satisfy the participants' uh, basic uh, psychological needs, which is very close to the motivation of the students to learn Arabic. And uh, the high satisfaction of the participants' uh, three basic needs during the camp was shown in that study. Quick, yes, quick, okay. And then um, this uh, year, uh, the purpose of this study is to investigate uh, effects of the satisfaction and basic psychological needs, uh, which are competence, autonomy, and relatedness, uh, which is very closely related to the motivation of students on Arabic language acquisition, which is you know, how much they learned, how much they acquired um, during the camp, so during the intensive Arabic camp in Rurike. And Arabic language acquisition uh, during the camp was measured uh, using the results of written and oral examinations, so which were conducted before and after the camp. Uh, first, uh, the Arabic intensive short camps are described. Uh, they were held for one week in uh, 2015 and 2016 in Rurike, which is in the suburb of uh, Kyoto, Japan. And second, uh, three basic uh, psychological needs are defined according to self-determination theory. Uh, third, we explain how much the camp satisfied the participants' basic psychological needs. And finally, the purpose of this study is uh, explained. And for details, uh, see our full paper in the proceedings. So I skip like statistical data um, in my presentation uh, due to you know, the time. Okay. Um, so the camp uh, activities ran for appro uh, approximately uh, one week in 2015 and again in 2016 in Rurike. And one of the goals was to offer the participants basic psychological needs satisfaction uh, as defined by the self-determination theory. So this camp is, you know, uh, maybe among you, you know the Middlebury camp uh, in the States uh, for the Arabic, like Imagen. You know, they, they only speak Arabic uh, within, what, six weeks or, yeah. Intensive. Uh, yeah, in intensive. So, because I was um, studying in the U.S. Um, for my uh, the PhD degree, so I knew that program and also I participated as a student and also as an intern. So uh, since I, I went back to Japan and to become an um, instructor of Arabic, I really, you know, dreamt of um, like holding, you know, a similar uh, camp. So this is the home page of, you know, this uh, camp, so which is all in uh, Japanese because this is for the Japanese uh, students of uh, Arabic. So uh, the camp ran for one week uh, in an accommodation in Rurike Kyoto in both 2015 and 2016. So it's rather um, short, you know, the, like compared to the Middlebury program, but 
on, you know, even for one, one week, you know, for me, it was a big job, you know, to prepare everything. And I invited the native speakers, you know, uh, from the USA and so on. So it was designed for university students. And all of the participants uh, voluntarily decided to take part in the camp. And they made a pledge, which is a promise, to solely use only uh, the Arabic language throughout the duration of the camp. So participation was not intended to generate credit hours. So the camp did not belong to any single university. But the point is, students um, decided to attend you know, voluntarily. And each year, uh, approximately 50 participants uh, chosen from over 80 applicants and from diverse regions of Japan. And they were divided into three levels of Arabic language uh, competency. And there were uh, three 90-minute classes and one 90-minute cultural activity per day, uh, except during the arrival and departure days. And each class or level was assigned uh, homework and which did not take much time for most of the participants. Sorry. Yeah, this is uh, photos, you know, from the, um, the camp. And then now I'm talking about the self-determination theory. So the self-determination theory is a macro theory of human motivation, a personality development, and well-being in social contexts. Uh, within the self-determination theory, the basic psychological needs are defined as the need for competence, autonomy, and relatedness. So they think that if we raise the satisfaction of these three uh, basic uh, needs, the students uh, tend to improve you know, their performance and also maybe the uh, acquisition. And according to this theory, the satisfaction of basic psychological needs is innate and essential for the internalization of motivation, as well as for psychological growth, integrity, and well-being. So as you know, when you teach, I think the student's motivation is very, very important. Because even though you know, we have you know, lots of motivation to teach, if the students are not, you know, oh, I don't want to learn, and it's not fun, you know. So that's why um, I'm, I'm studying this uh, motivation. And first, uh, competence refers to the need to experience oneself as effective in one's interactions with the environment. Uh, for example, students satisfy their competence when they succeed in difficult tasks or assignments in their academic uh, setting. So they feel the confidence, uh, competence. Uh, second, uh, autonomy refers to the need to feel uh, volitional and auth uh, authentic in one's actions. For example, uh, students satisfy their autonomous when they determinedly pursue a chosen field of schoolwork according to their own free will. Third, uh, relatedness refers to the need to experience oneself as connected to others and have meaningful relationships with them. For example, students satisfy their relatedness when they help each other or are assisted by their teachers and or family members with their studies. So I think when we see the motivation, uh, we tend to forget about their relationships with the others. Maybe we think only you know, in uh, maybe one student, if he's con um, the confident and autonomous, which is better. But if um, there are more relationships with other students or with the teachers, so it, gives, uh, it raises their motivation. That's a self-determination uh, theory. So according to self-determination theory, uh, support provided by teachers of basic psychological needs satisfaction promotes uh, student motivation and elevates academic performance also. So in particular, students with teachers who support their autonomy uh, compared to controlling teachers are more likely to reach higher academic achievements 
and deeper conceptual uh, understanding. So according to this uh, theory, um, if the teachers are not, you know, if teachers are very controlling, you know, you, ha you must do this and you have to do this, you should do this, no, but um, they should uh, more provoke, you know, the students, um, you know, their own the internalization of uh, motivation and who, you know, really want to uh, learn Arabic. And then, so in this uh, study, um, we were trying to connect to more higher academic achievements. So with the results of the examinations, uh, written and uh, oral. So it, in accordance with the, these studies, the camp was designed to provide an educational environment which promotes the participants' basic psychological needs satisfaction to stimulate uh, autonomous motivation and comprising intrinsic motivation and autonomous types of uh, extrinsic uh, motivation. So the following situations were created for the participants to enhance their basic psychological need satisfaction. So before the camp starts, uh, during the pre uh, preparation, so I, I tried to uh, prepare um, those uh, circumstances uh, which uh, raises the satisfaction of uh, those uh, three uh, basic uh, needs. For autonomy satisfaction, for instance, in the camp, the instructors provided a general subject when they assigned an Arabic composition as homework or required the preparation of an oral presentation, but allowed the students to select the specific <coughs> subject within the general subject. You know, for, for example, one of the instructors assigned sports as a general subject, but students could choose maybe either football, swimming, or skiing, or uh, other uh, sport. And also for um, the autonomy, the director uh, instructor announced the, at the end of breakfast on the fourth day uh, that some students had spoken in Japanese, thus uh, violating the uh, pledge because the pledge they are not supposed to speak uh, Japanese you know they, they should speak only Arabic but I heard you know some students are speaking uh, the Japanese which made me very angry but <laughs> but you know I did I was not angry in the saying that so she said that students are supposed to be here to acquire Arabic so don't you, you know, don't you forget, you know, why you are here because you want to learn and you want to speak. So, um, so she reminded them of their mutual uh, desire to improve their Arabic, which would help them to attain their own goals because they should know the rational, you know, because they tend to forget because when they're very in a hard situation, you know, they tend to just, you know, speak uh, Japanese or other thing, but I think they really, they should, you know, uh, be reminded by that. Also, the students were able to go to the study room every night and seek assistance from the instructors if they wished on their own initiative. For competence satisfaction, for instance, uh, during the camp, the instructors always try to provide positive evaluations and encouragement to the participants. Because in Japanese culture, we tend to, you know, um, say like uh, negative things first. But, you know, we really, you know, try to do, oh, it's good, you know. If you get better at this and then, so that, you know, we really had to change our awareness also. So the instructors, but the, uh, the native speakers of Arabic, they, they really, they get used to say, oh, the Muntaz and the Kwais and, the, you know, so, so we're very, you know, in, influenced by, by them. <laughs> and the instructors were ready to answer questions and to help the participants in the study room at, at night so that participants could attend classes and activities with uh, confidence. And for relatedness satisfaction, the camp was designed to gather university students whose goal was to improve their Arabic language skill as part of a group 
and while living together with the Japanese instructors and native speakers of Arabic in one house for 24 hours, this encouraged them to feel a sense of belonging, like a, to a community you know, who really want to learn Arabic. So the relationships among the participants and the instructors were promoted uh, via abundant opportunities to display cooperation, empathy, and the solidarity and through learning activities such as the practice of skits, dialogues, and group presentations. And the camp also included cultural activities such as dancing, singing, and acting, which were socially building activities. Methods. The data for basic uh, psychological needs satisfaction was collected via questionnaires administered once before and once after the camp. So both were conducted at the venue of the camp. The questionnaire before the camp consisted of three open questions about basic uh, needs satisfaction during their Arabic language learning experiences up to that time. The questionnaire after the camp consisted of three open questions, which is the same as uh, uh, the those uh, did before, asking about uh, basic psychological needs satisfaction during the camp. And also, um, so this was uh, satisfaction. And also, we had to measure you know, how much they approved in their Arabic acquisition, which is the degree of the participants' Arabic language acquisition. It was assessed using written examinations and oral examinations, which were produced by all the instructors. All the participants were required to take these examinations before and after the camp, so that the increase in the participants' Arabic language ability during the camp could be measured. The examinations before and after the camp were different in content, but the same in structure and level, so that we could compare. So the written examinations were given scores from 0 to 100, and all other examinations were scored on a five-point scale. To examine the effects of the camp, scores were obtained by uh, subtracting the examination score uh, before the camp from that after the camp. So now I skip to the results and discussion. This study mainly aimed to examine the effects of satisfaction of basic needs, competence, autonomy, and relatedness on Arabic language acquisition during the intensive Arabic camp in Lulike. The participants' scores for both the written and oral examination after the camp exceeded those before the camp. So the I compared the scores before and scores after, so after was higher. And likewise, uh, as already reported by Sumi and Sumi, um, the participant satisfaction during the camp was high and exceeded the ratings from uh, before the camp. So this satisfaction also the elevated. The camp appears to have succeeded in increasing the degree of the participants' Arabic language acquisition, as well as their basic psychological uh, needs satisfaction. So the satisfaction needs um, the improved, and also the acquisition level uh, went up also. And there were positive relationships uh, between the written examination scores after the camp and satisfaction of autonomy and the competence uh, during the camp. And between the oral examination scores after the camp and satisfaction of competence and relatedness uh, during the camp. So generally, uh, those participants uh, who had higher basic uh, psychological needs satisfaction during the camp increased uh, their degree of Arabic language acquisition. Uh, however, the relationships between needs satisfaction and Arabic acquisition were uh, rather weak. Yet, in general, the present findings support predictions based on the self-determination theory, which is if the satisfaction is uh, high, you know, this acquisition degree uh, you know, becomes high also. Thus, the methods used within the camp to enhance basic psychological needs satisfaction 
appear to enhance the participants autonomous motivation to learn Arabic and to increase uh, their degree of Arabic language acquisition. Um, thank you very much. Thank you.